morning. My name is Debbie Gerald. I come from Coal River Valley in southern West Virginia. I traveled all the way to our nation's capital to thank the EPA for the steps that they've been taking in protecting our waters. Water, something which is required for human health and well-being, something that no human being can live without. As EPA's Ms. Stoner spoke at a congressional hearing last month, I heard her say something that not even our own West Virginia rep representatives would dare utter. Ms. Stoner said, Appalachian families should not have to choose between healthy watersheds and a healthy economy. They deserve both, and we do. And thank you, Ms. Stoner. As for our West Virginia representatives here in D.C., to the EPA, I apologize for the deplorable manner in which they spoke during that same hearing about the ones attempting to protect us from the environmental injustice that mountaintop removal plagues us with. Mountaintop removal poisons our waters, it poisons our people, destroys our communities, and kills any hope of a sustainable future for our children and grandchildren. To Congressman Nick Rahal, someone who is hailed as an environmentalist outside of the coal fields, I ask, please, please, just give the people who live underneath these mountaintop removal sites half the consideration that you give the wild burros and horses that you so vehemently protect. Please. To Jay Rockefeller, who visited our area as a young man from New York, I quote his own words. Strip mining must be abolished because of its effect on those who have given most to the cause. The many West Virginians who suffered actual destruction of their homes, those who have put up with mudslides, cracked foundations, destruction of neighborhoods, decrease in property value, the loss of hunting and fishing, and the beauty of the hills. But to Mr. Rockefeller, there's two more you need to add on to that list. The poisoning of our water and our people. I ask, Mr. Rockefeller, that you once again visit those places in West Virginia. Look at what power and a lack of vision can do to a people. Yes, I come from the Coal River Valley of West Virginia to thank the EPA for taking steps to protect us our communities in Appalachia, there's more to be done. There's more to be done. Thank you.